Jones has turned into one of the best players in baseball. Tremendous defensive prowess. We've seen Jones when he heats up. He, he's as good a hitter as there is in this league. He can do it all. Do you think Adam pitchers see Adam Jones there at the plate? He's leading off. We're going to pitch him differently. Have oh, you no. noticed that at all? They see Adam Jones and they see Adam Jones. There's no uh, he's leading off. So let's 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 group a first pitch fastball in there because he's going to take it. I'm swinging at that first pitch fastball because hitting third, fourth, you don't you know you don't necessarily get those all the time just due to the fact that there's might be runners on and you're hitting three and four for a reason. Um, but I, I think he what he was trying to do was just just create the more flexibility that we have in our lineup. At this point in my career, um, I've accumulated a lot of service time. It's not about that anymore. It's about winning. That's mm -hmm. all I want to do. And, and, and no matter how I do it or how my numbers look, if we win after a game, then we can high-five the manager, go inside the clubhouse, play music after the game. That, it's, that's what you play the game for. Bryce Harper, I mm -hmm. know you heard about his campaign making baseball fun again. Yeah. Does Adam Jones, do you think baseball is fun or is it getting too much into the business side of things now? Well, Can I you mean, still have fun playing this I love game? What, I love what he said and he, because he's a fiery young man and he plays the game with passion. And like I said, when, whenever you try and bottle up someone's aggression and their passion for something, you're not going to get the best out of them. That's why I love what, uh, what, the, what Dusty Baker's doing with him. Hey, do what you need to do. And I do the same thing with Machado. I'm not going to sit there and bottle, it, bottle up his passion for the game. But I'm not going to bottle up his aggression. His, his, if you want to do something, you feel that you want to do something, you're gifted. You're 23 in the big leagues. Go ahead. Now, the, the biggest part about it is if you fail at it, there's the lesson. You understand the lesson. And I wouldn't say that the game has gotten uh, soft or anything. I just look at it as, you know, you can't take anybody out a second to prolong the inning for your team. Um, you can't take anybody out at home unless, I mean, you have to, what you say, you can't deviate and try and, and hurt someone. You have to stride, basically slide straight into the bag. Um, pitchers really can't come in high and tight and move you off the plate and, and you know, try and get back that inner corner, in, inside corner. If they do that, too many pitches, you're going to get a warning. People are going to get mad back and forth and get aggressive. Um, opposed to just go out there and play the game to win. Like, look, I need the inside corner. That's, that's a strike. I need the inside corner so I can throw my slider away. That's part of it. I need to break up that double play so I can prolong the inning. It's the eighth inning. We got the big boys coming up. I need to prolong that inning so that, you know, what, something can happen later. You play in the AL East, and it used to be, you and I know this, Red Sox-Yankees rivalry. It's mm -hmm. always Red Sox-Yankees. Always. But you know what? The Baltimore Orioles have had a pretty intense rivalry with the Blue Jays. Last year was pretty heated. Um, this year, it's always very competitive. Uh, Baltimore had a little bit of a fracas with the Royals. Mm. Why do you think people are picking on the Baltimore Orioles? Do you think you guys are just <laughs> really passionate and intense in the way you play the game? Why do you find yourselves in these heated rivalries? Well, what I look at it is, is I think it's, I don't think it's us against them. I look at it as we were, we were a, a bad team for a while. Now we're good. Now we got that confidence. Now we got that mojo. Blue Jays were bad for a while. Now they're good. Now they got that mojo. Royals were bad for a while. Now they're better. They got that mojo. And it's not just the players. The fan base is going there, too. The managers are going there, too. Everybody's sticking their chest out now. Look, all right, look, we're not the seller dollars. We're going to come out here and play. While the Yankees and Red Sox, they've been doing it for so long. They're like, what? They're, they're probably happy that, it, that it's not all about them anymore. I don't mind it. I don't. I don't mind it from the from the Blue Jays. I don't mind it from the Royals. I think it's passion. I think that it's it's good for the game, and I think it's good for the game. It was great for this city, first off, uh, to have you guys in the postseason. You know, it, it. I mean, you can see it on the games. We came here in August. All they, they even announced when we were here. All the games the rest of the season last year. I guess like the remaining 30 were all sold out sold already. Out, yeah. Like that's good for the economy of the city. That, that, you know, then you got the Raptors playing good not the Leafs I'm sorry they're not that good and it's okay but uh you know you got two two of your uh, three franchises playing really really good and that's good for your, that's good for your city I got to see it in Baltimore when we won this people I've never seen a, a middle-aged man act the way he acts towards me never have until we won and you get to see how these the their passion they want to win and it's been you know they've especially the older gentlemen in, in Baltimore they've seen winning and then it, it's been stripped from them for it was for uh, 15 years, and 
to bring back that passion and that winning is has really transcended our city. Adam Jones, I, I got to tell you, you've always been very, very gracious with your time with me, and it is always such a treat to talk to you. Thank you for doing it. this. Thank you.